Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Got a new project today. Got a tractor the other day. And it's got a major problem. Let me show you. Don't that look terrifying? Yeesh. Pretty good little old tractor. Uh, everything's supposed to be sound on. It's all supposed to work. As far as like the three-point motor hydraulics, all that stuff. Said went out one day and it wouldn't start. Gee, I wonder why. Look at this mess. Golly. And here's your starter. Push button and a toggle. Ain't that pretty? Yeah. So that is just oh my gosh. No, well, anyways. Uh, needless to say, that's going to come out. I'm not even going to mess with that. I'm not even going to try to mess with that. I'll show you how I'm going to fix that. Just have to have it because as soon as this camera goes off, I'm doing it. Right here. This will cure all problems. And I'm going to go in here and just cut all these out and completely rewire it. That's what I did to the WD and the 460 out there. So it's just easier on these old tractors, and this is a mess. And over here, the old generator, it's going to come off too. We're going to put a one-wire alternator and get rid of that junk and that regulator. And what, uh, oh yeah, this coil too. External resistor, that's gone. I done ordered one. And lo and behold, I found one inside. So I'm going to make this all one video. I'm going to put a very basic wiring system. I'm just going to hook the coil up and run a hot wire to the battery for now to get it off my trailer. And then once I do that, I'll take it out there in the shop and actually wire it right. But for now, you can, the way you do these, if anybody don't know, you just, you know, hook up this side back to your distributor and you go from the hot side of the coil to the hot side of the battery on 12 volt. This is old, but it ain't that old. It's 12 volt. So. so we'll do that and hopefully it runs real good and good enough to get off the trailer and get out of here. But like I said, this is where we're starting today. I'm just going to cut that nightmare out, and I'm not even messing with it. So, I will bring the camera back. I'm not going to go through the whole wiring thing, but when I get it wired up good enough to start, I'm going to bring a battery out here and some jumper cables. And once I get the coil on and the wire hooked up, I'll turn the camera back on, bring you back, and we'll fire it up and see if I was lied to or not. Hopefully not. I really wanted this because this is a utility and it's real low profile, and we got hillsides out here pretty pretty sketchy some of them and you know i mean they're not bad bad but if versus a tall tractor you know lower to the ground you are the better you know your center of gravity ain't up and you don't flip over as easy but that's what i want it's for mainly a brush hog tractor a little piddly tractor so when i get it wired i'll be back and we'll go from there and cross your fingers see you in a bit all right everybody i'm back look at that look at all that mess come out of there and about half of that's factory okay got this jumped across ground and hot i got a battery out here make sure it's in neutral safety third you know <laughs> okay hopefully it starts i don't know I'm about to find out let me see if i can if the choke will even work if it even has a choke yeah right Ugh. I'd say that's a big no-go. I don't know. Like I said, it's a disaster. And the solenoid's broke, so hopefully it'll hang on. I guess. And I got the coil hooked up right here, so. It don't sound very good, does it? Okay, uh, yay. Tell you what, I'm gonna go get a tool. I'm gonna go get a screwdriver. We'll take this off where I can throw something in there, some ether and something, see if it's even hitting. The bad part, the uh, plug wires and everything's on the other side, so I gotta hit this. I can't be on both sides at the same time. So, I got I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Went to take that off and it fell off. Didn't even need the screwdriver, so. Let's give her a little shot. That'll at least let me know if it's firing or not. This all hook back up on the battery. See what happened. Great. Now I can start it. I want to engage. Getting any fire 
fire. Let's see if I can. So it's hard to do all this by yourself here. So, uh, but that should have allowed me to get fire. Or I mean, uh, the spray should have at least let me know if I had any fire or not. Okay, this is gonna be a mess. <sighs> all right, let me revamp, I'll be right back. Hey everybody, back. All right. Clean the points, got them going, everything. Finally got some fire, checked it with my tester. Ended up putting a bug and the cap was bad. And luckily, I had an old master tune-up kit for International. I picked up at, I think it was a Horseland's or a tractor supply. They had them on clearance for like 15 bucks a long time ago. I picked up two or three of them. And luckily I had it. I got that in there and I got fire. So now that we got that, I think I got it to bump. I found this. Don't buy these at Harbor Freight. These are a joke. Clips are horrible. But anyways, let's see. Give it a hit. Hopefully, my starter. Come on. Come on. It ought to run now. in the world now tell you what i'll just come back when it's run and tell you what i did because i had fire a while ago that should have hit Let's see what else is going on i'll be back in a minute all right we're back and i got it figured out getting frustrating didn't have fire got fire and then it wouldn't run i had a curveball through at me this one this is a fuel shut off solenoid never seen one on an antique tractor they made these from 64 to 67 I don't know if somebody's put this on or what, but I've never seen one. And I've seen it up here at the start. I assumed it was a carb warmer. I have seen those in the past. They're kind of rare, but they look a lot like this. I had no earthly idea that it had a fuel shut off solenoid. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut that off and put it back in there because that's stupid. Put a fuel shut off on the line. So with that being said, Crazy, crazy, crazy. We'll fire this back up. Now bear with me, I'm trying to do two or three things at once here. But, let's see. Yeah, that's going to get fixed too. Here we go. Didn't even have to shoot no gas to it. Whole thing runs good. I like it. Get it off the trailer, I'll check everything, make sure the hydraulics and all work, but it sounds good. Like I said, I've got that brush all boomed down and everything, so can't really do that. I better make sure there ain't no tension on that stupid thing, as a matter of fact. Yeah, it looks like it's trying to pick it up. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Let's leave that down. Alright. There's a good running little old machine. Parky, parky, but anyway, it's good. So, I'm happy. We'll get back over here. I, uh, I'll get this thing off the trailer. Then I'll get it back to the shop. Get everything working. Actually fix it right. Put the breather back on. That fell off. It wasn't even hooked up. I'll tell you what, it's amazing. It's really amazing how some people just run something in the ground when they got a good piece of equipment and they won't do any maintenance to it. It blows my mind. I mean, just do a little bit. And that wiring, oh, uh, that's terrible. What I did, I just run me a temporary wire. It's running off the hot. I'll stick this battery up there and be careful and just kind of crawl around. And then I'll get up in the shop and actually wire it right. So, but that's just a temporary deal for anybody saying anything. I said that before, but I'm gonna drive about it probably. It's just enough to get it off the trailer and get it in the shop and we'll fix it right. So, I'm happy with it. Well, old thing sounds good. Sounds real good. It'd be a good little addition to the place, I think. So, I'm happy. Happy, happy, happy. 
Good deal. All right, well, you'll see this in some upcoming videos. We're going to use it. Make sure everything works well on it. I'll get the fluids checked, rewired, and done right. So I guess that's it for this video. So we saved another one. Kudos. So I guess that's it. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It does help the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell when you do, and you'll get notified of everything I'm getting ready to do with this. I may or may not leave a wiring video on how to do that. I don't know. Leave a comment if you want to see that or not. If I get enough votes on it, enough people actually want to see it, other than one or two, you know, I'll go ahead and make a wiring video. So, that's it. So, as always, like and subscribe. Catch you on the next video. Bye.